Alright guys, Bailey here and today I'm bringing you another Red Dead Redemption 2 video in which I'm going to be breaking down and talking about some very interesting news which I have discovered on Red Dead Redemption's 2 leaked map about what some of the places on the map mean which could give us an insight into what we can expect in terms of factions, weapon reach, story and a whole lot more. Before I begin guys, if you haven't checked out my Red Dead Redemption 2 videos which include a lot of informative news, theories, speculations and more in the game, I have a playlist so you can keep updated, a link will be in the description below. Also guys, if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I'm your best source for everything Red Dead related. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I've been doing a lot of research on what we can expect from Red Dead Redemption 2. Besides from bringing you every bit of news on speculations and theories that surface, the research I've been doing have been mainly on the leaked map for RDR2, which led me to discover more information on the game. My analysis, most places in the map have Native American names. Sorry for my pronunciation on any of the Native American names names. So, Renelki Valley was the homeland to many Native American tribes in the late 1800s. Kohota is an Indian name that means mountains that hold the sky. So, this is just a short example of the Native American places on the map. However, there was a place on the map which caught my eye and isn't a Native American name, but it's Old Fort Wallace, which is an actual force. The information I discovered on Old Fort Wallace is that it was a US cavalry fort built in Wallace County, Kansas to help defend settlers against Cheyenne and Sioux raids. Fort Wallace was one of the most important military outposts on the frontier from 1865 to 1882. The Shaheen are Native Americans that were two tribes, the Suhati and Tisasatis. These tribes merged in the early 19th century, which fits about right for them to be a faction within Red Dead Redemption 2, with it being a prequel. On the subject of Native Americans, an ex-Rockstar employee who was a senior artist at Rockstar posted these images to her artwork profile last year. But after they were discovered on social media, they were soon deleted. The artwork you are seeing right now reflect Native Americans from their face paint, hairstyle and garb showing different desires, which could potentially mean the different tribes within Red Dead Redemption 2. I will be going over these artworks in a separate video. Another hint of Native Americans is the short glimpse of Dreamcatcher within the first Red Dead Redemption True trailer which has been associated with Native American tribes showing their presence. So if Native Americans are in Red Dead Redemption 2, this could mean a vast range of different weaponry we could be using. Red Dead Redemption didn't have much weaponry in the game and most of the weapons felt bland and the same besides from firepower and speed. Red Dead Redemption 2 would allow us to use Native American weaponry such as bow and arrows, spears, tomahawks, stone clubs and much more. Not only about weapons, but with most of the places being Native American names across the map, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be highly impacted by Native Americans and this would impact the story a lot with them being involved. That made it most of the Native American involvement within the game will be conflict with the US Army, such as the US battle with the Sioux tribe at one of the most famous battles ever, Wounded Knee, which almost fits in the timeline if Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel. We could also see the end of the Native Americans in Red Dead Redemption 2, which could lead to the events of Red Dead Redemption as there were only a few left which conjugated at tall trees. So guys, that's all I have to say for you today, I shall keep you informed on any new speculations or theories which is worth mentioning in future videos. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, let me know in the comment section below how you think Native Americans will play a role in Red Dead Redemption 2, and if you want to see more fresh content, hit that subscribe button, and guys, thanks for watching, I love your faces, and I'll see you in the next one.